By some estimates, 30% of the electricity used in the United States alone is just for lighting. And for retailers, that number climbs to 45%. But this next story shows those numbers could drop dramatically simply by letting the sun come in. Duncan Earl looks like he's recreating a scene from Star Wars. But he's really demonstrating an elegant new lighting system. It could save millions in energy costs. It could improve worker productivity. It's called hybrid solar lighting. And some buildings are already seeing the light. We're here on the rooftop of the American Museum of Science and Energy in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where we are installing a solar collector that's part of Sunlight Direct's HSL 3000 system. This system consists of a 48-inch diameter primary mirror that concentrates the light towards a secondary mirror. This secondary mirror strips off UV and infrared wavelengths. Taking out the infrared and UV light reduces heat in the fiber optics. And why not? We can't see that light anyway. The visible light is focused towards the fiber optic receiver. The fiber optic receiver contains optical fibers that then pass into the building interior for building lighting. Just like electrical wires sent to lighting fixtures, the fibers are easily installed and replaced. Unlike fluorescent lights that require energy, the hybrid solar system only needs one 9-volt battery to power the solar tracking system for a week. The solar tracker mechanism consists of two motors that are controlled by a GPS microprocessor. The GPS microprocessor can calculate the exact location of the sun to within 0.1 degree. And that makes the lights shine bright. To give you an idea of how much light is emitted by these optical fibers, just two of these fibers produce enough light to be equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb. And there's 127 of those optical fibers in our bundle. Scratches on this rod help distribute the light, but what if it's cloudy or rainy outside? Well, that's where the hybrid comes in. The lighting fixtures blend the sunlight with the artificial lamps from fluorescent or incandescent lamps uh, to create a hybrid luminaire. Photosensor in the room monitors the intensity and, and makes sure the artificial lamps are ramped up or decreased proportionally to keep a constant room illumination. This is a room lit entirely by fluorescence. Notice the signature orange tint. Not very natural. Now switch the lighting to 80% solar and 20% fluorescent. It's easy to notice the difference. For most retailers, for example, hybrid solar lighting can reduce their energy bill by 60%. Duncan envisions retail stores as being the first adopters of the technology because of the health benefits of natural lighting. Studies have shown that 20% of workers suffer symptoms of depression from seasonal affective disorder. SAD. What's more, retail stores with natural lighting sold 40% more merchandise than stores with artificial light. There have been a number of studies that have shown uh, biological rhythms, like circadian rhythms, uh, are key to, to having successful and uh, productive employees. So bringing in the natural light that helps regulate these biological processes is an important component. The technology has so impressed researchers at Oak Ridge National Lab that they're looking at other applications, like tapping the ultraviolet light energy and more. We're looking at hot water heating as an exciting new opportunity uh, for our system. We're looking at IR heating and hydrogen production. But there is one limitation to the technology. The major limitation with hybrid solar lighting is currently the optical fibers. The plastic optical fibers are very low cost, but they're also very low transmittance, which means we can only run between 30 and 50 feet from the solar collector. But neither Duncan nor Melissa see that as a problem. They expect to focus on the top and main floors of a building. The potential energy savings and CO2 reductions for utilizing hybrid solar lighting systems just in the Sun Belt region of the U.S. is approximately 20 billion kilowatt hours per year and 1.5 million metric tons of CO2 production per year. That's equivalent to powering New York City for five months. So when could you buy a system for yourself? Well, it's not as far away as you might think. Our goal is in 2007, early 2007, to launch a hybrid solar lighting product that costs less than $10,000. And that price should come down considerably as volume increases. A system like that would light about a thousand square feet and would be designed to last 20 years. But for Duncan, the greatest benefit is making our workspaces as natural and as human as possible. When you come in in the morning and you're tired and, you, and you've got your coffee in your hand and you're not quite awake, uh, you like seeing the reddish glow that was uh, the same type light as outside. 
Uh, and then as you start working throughout the day and that turns to a whitish color and you wake up, uh, sort of the sunlight and yourself wake up together. And then at the end of the day when there's a reddish glow, uh, you know it's time to go home.